bash, but if you get just a little nicked by anything, your DI is pretty bad. 2-1 Cascade, yeah, the rest master, coming at, coming at me. He said, you're not safe either. Rest master will get you. Yeah, he just beat my Marth, and I don't think I was playing. He was playing really, I wouldn't say particularly good, but he was, um, it seemed like he learned a lot from, like, watching videos or, like, just studying. I don't know exactly what he does to, like, learn or anything, but, like, he was definitely, I wasn't, I just went autopilot against him with Marth and, like, what I usually do against Puffs, like, in a certain way, but it's not autopilot that's necessarily bad. It's, like, all the good things, but, like, I'm not mixing up the good things is what I'm, is the main thing. So, he, um, yeah, he got me, Marth, Marth game, and then I just went Fox, and then it was pretty easy from there. But, um, yeah, it was, um, yeah, he played really well. But anyway, we got the Fox King versus Control of Defeat. Um, Apigo is not a slouch in this matchup. I'm pretty sure he's beaten, uh, Galen and Baroche. Yeah, at the Arcadian. He beat both of them, I believe. Unless Galen beat, um... Unless Brett beat Galen at the Arcadian. I don't know how many Peaches he played at the Arcadian, but I do remember he did play Baroche. Slug's coming in here. Hopping on the mic. We got a Pigo versus, uh, Andrew. Oh, Stitch. Wastes the Stitch. I think he was trying to hit the landing of uh, Pigo's double jump. Good stuff in that set. What was that? Another Stitch. I said gonna... I'm sick at the ditto. You're sick at the ditto? Yeah. Yeah, you were pretty good. Still undefeated. I liked it. Dude, I like that one down air you did, like to stuff out his wave dash approach. Mm -hmm. When Nana was recovering, I was like, oh, that was so good. I love that matchup. Like... Down throw fair, or he, actually he has to DI him, but he's not going to die from up air. He'll die at this percentage. Nice, this is a kill. Ooh, he tries the up air instead. That Definitely could have fared. Yeah. I think he was afraid that he would try to tech, but I think the up air wouldn't have done anything in, in that um, replacement. Battery b might beat Nino. That's very tr very possible. Yeah, the IC I beat to make it out of my pool at Big House was the winner of the Chicago Arcadian. So Philly confirmed. The best I, at IC Dittos? The best, the best Arcadia, better Arcadia winner. <laughs> I Although agree. I won my, I won the Arcadia. Oh, the so like that's what Apigo really gets the mileage off of. When he, he played against Verosha at yes, the Arcadian, yeah. his aggressive offstage edge guarding, like that even kills like, like 50, 60% earlier than he normally would. You normally would get kills in this matchup. Yeah. And his neutral is so good. He's just like using Very proper proper usage of forward air, F tilt, grabs. Jab. Yeah, jab. Jab, jab is, is jab is really good, especially spaced. If there's no SDI involved, like it's I don't think it can be down smashed or I don't know. Maybe hitting him in the air. Yeah. Is retribution is that Mike? Yeah, that's Mike. So we're gonna go to F D. Um, I think this matchup, I think this matchup actually kind of favors Sheik a little more in the FD. I she think Andrew, I always see him picking FD, whether it's versus Spacey, Amarth, Sheik, like, I think this is just one of his favorite stages. Yeah. I know. Oh, I kind of wanted to see a Nair, a flow cancel Nair instead. It would have sent him further and allowed for, like, combo potential. Like, if yeah. uh, Apiga was holding in, he could have got, like, Nair into, like, forward air or something. Nice, fair grab. Um, not a true link on shield, but it's a very good mix-up. You can do yeah. a mix-up of doing another float cancel aerial, or down smash, or jab, or she, grab. Sheiks especially will hold their shield when they get hit by like a fair, because their shield is so big. They don't worry about getting shield poke as much as yeah. other characters. So they'll hold it a lot if you can get a grab. Nice, very good follow-up. I don't you, know you if I agree with the dash. Instead he, of Nair? Um, he probably wouldn't have gotten as much mileage off of it. Okay. Cause Sheik's um, even though Sheik's very comboable, um, Peach doesn't really combo her like super hard. She's more like a push off the stage kind of character yeah. against Sheik. It's not like uh, if it's a Fox or a Marth, like they they focus on the vert vertical comboing against Sheik, cause like she has no landing options and um, slow air drift. Yeah. But uh, the dash attacks, I'm not really crazy crazy about. I kind of want to see like a little more flow cancel aerials. 
mm -hmm. floor cancel nares to like cover the second places. But it's hard. It's like a very um, technically demanding like action to do repeatedly. Yeah. I definitely feel like there's more and more really technical peaches nowadays though. Yeah. That Ooh. Moves. So when you're playing against Peach, you can't really um, try to jump out of shield and challenge that up air unless you got like a really fast upwards move. Yeah. Or if you can space like your fast nair around it. When she's above you doing down air, it's kind of um, it's kind of hard to deal with. And that's a lost double jump. Oh no, he missed. Wow. Doesn't exactly matter as long as he got that follow up, but he unfortunately didn't. So he's yeah. going to get the eye away, but he's still dead. It didn't lose anything, I don't think. I don't think he took any percent from that miss back air. Oh, can't run in right away. apigo has been doing too much run in right after needles. He needs to bait a little more. Yeah. Get some whiffing going in there. Pico loves those full hop needles, dude. They're really good against a float. It kind of like forces Peach to play a ground game, which is like much uh, easier to deal with, I would say. Yeah, it's much easier to just get a grab that way, which is forced on the ground. Yeah, he's doing a lot of like low nares now. All right. Andrew proving once again that he's an FD god. FD just, master. He definitely, um, last time he played Trum, I think you were watching it, he was losing by like 80% and had just a sick combo on FD to send it to game 5. Yeah. He, he's really going on FD. Oh my god, first pick. So, he's sword. cosplaying Marth right now. Alright, that didn't do anything. It might have even hurt him, honestly. A lot of times when pe people pull a beam sword, they're not actually sure how to use it. And then I think Andrew actually does know how to use it quite well. I've seen him use it a lot and like get a lot of mileage off of it. Okay. Ooh. I mean, it's not that hard. You just have to use jab. Jab's really good with Peach yeah. with the beam sword. And then just throw it when they're off stage because it's such a high knockback uh, item if you throw it at someone. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do this Sheik Edge Guard where we um, do standard get up and uh, punish whatever range she decides to um, land on. And I like the fact that Apigo did not go for an up air there because he knew it wasn't really comboable. He did more of a uh, lasting aerial, which is back air, and he like spaced it away where like he can't be really punished for whiffing that. Mm -hmm. If he did an up air, he probably could have been like hit by a falling aerial or something. I'm trying to think about this counter pick. Like it's an it's an interesting choice. It's a good stage for both these characters, for the most part. I think the reason why I like this counter pick, um, for for Marth, but uh, for I can see the oh, wow. same application for Sheik. Mm -hmm. The platforms, the pl varying platform heights, and just the constant interchanging like, um, geography of the map. I yeah. think like, it's um very helpful for someone who can like, do like, creative combos like on the bat, like yeah. offhand. Like I think you can rack up a lot of damage versus Peach and you know you have the small platforms where like down smash becomes more of like a an option for Peach yeah. when she comes to tech chasing or platform punishing. Platform pressuring. But I think the I think the overall like battle of attrition with the just the very long extended combos you can get on this stage um, outweigh that. Oh well, we tried to read the jump out of the corner but Oh, Andrew opts for double down smash in the corner. I guess he was assuming that he was going for dash and grab. Oh, no double jump. Floats being oh, used. Slip by the FD. Yeah, that's the thing about having um, a turn up in shield versus like characters who can do like rapid normals on shield. You can't really like punish um, punish it with, yeah. when you have a turn up in hand. You gotta throw it, and the turn up's not turn up throws not that fast. It's really good against Marth when he attacks your shield, but. Against like a Fox, Falco, Sheik, you can't yeah. really like punish the rapid normals on shield with turn up toss. This is a really close match though. Oh, 15 love. This is a bad spot for Ego. Rolls in, still gets He needs to gain like some superiority over center stage. He got hit by that up, but that's, that's it. it. Yeah, he, he rolled up. That was a good set though. Yeah, that's a um. It's a 2-1 victory by uh, Control of Defeat. Mm -hmm. I feel like that set went by really fast. 